let's clean that lens up good. I did this at the start of a video recently and there were so many comments that were like, oh my gosh, I can actually see you now. We're gonna have to kick off today's video of a new vlog angle like this. And the reason for it being is that I shaved my face this morning and I shaved it the normal length, but it literally looks like I'm 11 years old. And I don't know why, because this is the normal length that I shaved my face. Are you ready? Three, two, one. I don't know why, I just feel like I look about 11. This is, this is the normal length that I shaved my face to, but I just look like a baby today. One thing that I get asked quite a lot on YouTube is from people commenting saying that they want to be YouTubers, that they want to get into it, they want some tips, they want some tricks on how to start, how to get more confident, how to get more views, how to make good videos. I don't know about the good videos bit, but I might be able to help you with the rest of it because I've been doing it 10 years now. Uh, one tip that YouTube have always said to me to do, one thing, ever since I've been going to meet with YouTube for meetings and stuff like that, this is one thing that they always say. Make sure that the first 10 seconds of your video are captivating. That is a moment, the first 10 seconds is the moment when people decide whether they're gonna stay and watch the video or whether they're gonna click off instantly and watch something else. And this is also one thing that I've just realized while saying that and it coming out of my mouth today that I do not do myself. I start my videos by literally like making a coffee or doing a time lapse of the dishwasher or I don't even know what I do. So if you're still watching, we're in more than 10 seconds. So I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you. Give yourself a pat on the back. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for sticking by. How are you? I hope you're doing good. I hope your family's well. We're going through an unbelievable time at the moment. The world is all over the place. If you're not feeling 100% yourself, you're not feeling like you usually do, that is okay. Make sure that you're checking in with your friends. Make sure that they're checking on you, with your family, with your dog, with your, cuddle your pets a bit more. Show people some love at the moment. People are finding things difficult right now. Even if they don't show it, they might be finding things difficult right now. So last night I was up stupidly late tie-dyeing a load more of these white future self hoodies to blue kind of cool sky future self hoodies that will be on the website at some point probably in like the next week or so so these videos are always a couple of days behind if you do want one of those hoodies make sure you're watching my instagram stories every day because that's where i'm going to tell you what time and what day it goes up because as i said these are a couple of days behind so i might not be able to update you in time and last time they sold out in a minute blah 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 Follow my Instagram stories if you want to know more. Anyways, I was up last night till I don't even know what o'clock making these hoodies and I have got blue everywhere. Like blue here. I swear I've got like blue here on my shin. I've got a blue foot down here. I've got all blue. If I could show you my thighs without it getting inappropriate, my thighs are literally covered in blue, but then I'd have to strip down to my boxers. No one wants that. I've got a bunch of hoodies here that I need to go and put in the washing machine and like start doing the thing. Anyways, that's what I need to do right now. Go put some hoodies in the washing machine. All right, I need to take these next door. I don't know how I'm gonna film this and carry them. Side note, just in case you're wondering, my foot is feeling about 80% better today, which is amazing. I've been in so much pain for the last couple of days. That's just the worst angle. I possibly could have put you at. Whilst the hoodies are doing their thing in the washing machine, it is time to talk about today's video sponsor. We've got a sponsor on today's vlog that I'm so excited about, a product that I've been using for a good couple of weeks now, during all of this self-isolation period with me working at home and my team working at home and not being able to see my family and a ton of my friends and my sister and Sean and just everyone that I'd normally be seeing or working with on a daily, weekly basis. And this video is sponsored by a company called Lark, which offers a ton of different built-in tools. It's an app on your computer you can download. You can also get it on the mobile store. It does a ton of different things, whether you want it from work or whether you want it for personal use. I use it personally for things like video call, whether that's catching up with my family, whether that's jumping on work calls, planning future self products, talking about brand club. But literally, I've had video calls on Lark talking about this Lark deal. And then you've got a ton of other tools like Lark Documents, which is where you can 
I can drag a document into it and one of my other members of my team can see that document or they can drag one in and I can see it and we can share things like new designs for Future Self and stuff like that between all of us. And the good thing about it is that it is completely free. There is nothing to pay. You can have unlimited minutes and up to 100 people in a video call. So literally, I can't imagine anyone who's got more than 100 friends in a video call. You can have up to 100 friends or work colleagues or family if you've got that big a family in a video call, unlimited minutes, completely free. And I've got a couple of calls and stuff today using it. So I'll show you some of the actual screen and what it looks like and the interface and me using it and stuff later on throughout the vlog a little bit. I'll leave a link in my description, literally down below for you to go check it out, go download it, go enjoy it. Just finished editing up a new video to go live tonight. I'm having to whisper because Zoe's literally just over there on a work call. I'm just gonna cook up some lunch now. Super quiet, so probably cut to some time lapses because I can't really speak much. Today for lunch we've got quinoa and long grain rice with meatballs chopped up. This is the kind of food I was eating when I was working out a ton. The only difference is now I've only worked out once. I need you to get back in the gym. We've got a bit of an interesting afternoon. I don't know how exactly it's gonna go, but we're just gonna see what happens because it's all we can do right now. When we drop things on Future Self, obviously my photographer Lottie shoots all of the images. She's amazing. We hire models in, we rent studio spaces or we rent venues or we just go and shoot and we find locations. And we can't do that at the moment, obviously, because everyone's on lockdown. All of the items are here at my house and I can't go and like, give them to people, like models to wear. Equally, no one can come and pick them up from me. So what we're gonna try and do today, this afternoon, is we're gonna shoot images of me wearing the garment, so it can only be me, we can't do any other models. And I'm gonna go on a video call with Lottie, and she's gonna take photos of either her phone, or an iPad, or a laptop, or a computer, or a monitor, of me posing in the video call, and she's gonna take a picture. I think it's gonna look really cool. I feel like the end product is gonna be banging, but it's also the only way we can shoot right now, unless Zoe just takes the pictures and I'm wearing it, or if I take them on a tripod. But I think this is gonna be, this is gonna like push and test our creativity. And it's just something new and challenging and like so much is all up in the air at the moment and people are having to work differently and work from home and stuff. So I feel like it's gonna be fun. I'm just now jumping on a, a lock video call to, um, plan it because we she's just sent over a mood board for like concepts and what how we think it should look or how she thinks it should look and I'm gonna go through it now with her. But let me show you a little bit of Lark and show you what it actually looks like on my I've got it up on my monitor here and then my editing here. This is like a little dual display kind of thing so my mouse can go through both. So down the side here we've got messages which I really I'm I'm gonna click on but I'm gonna have to blur because obviously I can't have my messages being read in the vlog so that's the messages function that you can go through different like groups and different people and people that i've been speaking to or i've been sending this person some pictures and then down the side here you can click meetings which is obviously like you can do new meetings like video calls or join meetings or you can obviously share your screens so that other people can see what you're working on you've obviously got your calendars which just syncs up with everyone else's you've got your document sharing you've got your contact list and then the workplace here this is where you can get different types of apps for different things that your business might require. There is a hell of a lot going on. It's not just video calls. Equally, if you do just want to use it for video calls, catching up with people, it is just banging for that as well. Let me put you down there because I need to jump on this video call and see how we're going to shoot these shoot these images today. I, I'm excited to see how they turn out. Oh no, you're wearing the old hoodie. You need, right. you need one of the new ones. I've got my little tripod set up ready to take pictures through it. Just need to go and find a hoodie now that's my size, large, large XL. Here we go. I think the first location to shoot, I've got to be a little bit quiet again, Zoe's on another call just in there. It's gonna be like here. This is so different to anything I normally shoot because this is gonna be like super low quality. We're shooting through a video call. It's gonna be so different. Do you want your dinner? <laughs> Why do you do this thing? <laughs> Literally, we had one friend once teach Nala to spin before she gets her food. Literally once. And I don't even mean food as in like dinner, obviously, because our friend didn't, doesn't feed Nala dinner. 
But our friend, this was even years ago, used to say to Nala, do you want a treat? And then she'd be like, obviously get excited, and they'd be like, teaching her to spin around to be able to get the treat. And now every single breakfast and every single morning and every single treat, you mention the word treat, breakfast or dinner, and she's like, Trrr. I don't know how to stop it. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. But I'm like, this, <laughs> she doesn't need to do that. Semi-successful shoot. I'm not gonna lie and say we got all the pictures, because we definitely didn't. But we did get a couple that we're gonna be able to test out to see whether the vibe is right. However, the lighting could be better than right now. It's really bright, but there's no like actual sun shining, which would be nice to have in the indoor pictures. Especially because our house has quite a few shutters, so that when the, the sun is like proper shining through, you get the really nice shadows of the shutters, like creating like the lines. The full commitment. Don't even worry about working out the beanie on. Guys, it's eight o'clock, Thursday, time to clap. The sky. It's a little bit different this week. We weren't expecting it. We're cooking dinner in the kitchen at the moment. Oh my gosh, the most beautiful sky and a heron. What the hell? Can you see the heron over there? And then check the sky out. So this vlog's a little bit shorter than what I wanted it to be and what my normal vlogs are. So I thought what would be nice is if Zoe and I jump on and do like a little Q&A from my Instagram. So I put up saying, send me a question, ask me a question. And Zoe and I are going to sit down together. And Nala, if you can hear her. She is not happy that I did not mention her. And you as well. We're going to answer some of your questions. But first, I'm going to have a little catch up with my parents. Where are you? There we are. Hello. Oh, you're on your mobile? Who's this, Buzzy? <gasps> Buzzy, look. Is that Buzzy boy? Do you miss Nala? She can see him, you know. Yeah. That's your brother. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stupidest thing. <laughs> Trying to get the dogs to, to see each other because obviously they can't play together at the moment. Oh, the lighting is quite noise. Noise. Got my little cough dog. Are you ready? Yeah. For the questions. Yeah. Zoe hasn't seen any of these, but I just put it on my Instagram as I said and um, screenshotted some of my some of my faves. Let's go. So let's roll. How does it feel? I feel like I'm interviewing you because the first <laughs> question is just for you. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel to be 30, Zoe? Oh. Do you know what would be a sick video? If we straight up interviewed each other. Like, ask whatever you want, let's interview each other. Like, <laughs> half an hour funny. interview. Like, legit, ask whatever you, whatever you think my audience would be interested in. Fully open, ask me. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, how does it feel to be 30? I mean, it feels exactly the same. I think it doesn't help also that I just haven't seen anybody else. Do you know what I mean? Very true. Like, I don't feel like I've really had a birthday. It just feels the same. I haven't been able to celebrate at all with anyone. But actually being 30 feels no different yet than Do you not 29. feel like, I'm excited to be 30, I said this in a video once, and people were like, hmm, never thought of it like that. I'm excited to get older. Are you? Mm. I guess so many being... people don't. So many people don't get the chance to grow older, I'm just like... It's a privilege. Yeah, um, massively, like, you are now closer to like, Theoretically, having kids and like. It's a different phase of life. Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah. I think about. it's sick. Yeah, for sure. I'm excited about a different phase of life, but I I guess you don't feel that until you're like deep in it or you look back on it. I don't know. It just feels like my life and I'm just living it. You haven't had to say yet if someone says, oh, how old are you? Or, and you, you haven't not. You, oh, you that's haven't true. said. I haven't one. had to fill anything in that says yeah. I'm 30. I've or... still said a couple of times 25 and I'm like, no, I'm 26. You haven't said, excuse me, sorry miss, how, I, how old are you? Oh, 30. 
It's so cold in here. Do you want me to close the door? Yes. Um, yeah, that I'll would be it. great. What job do you think you would have, this is to both of us, if we weren't doing what we do? Like, what do you actually think you'd be doing? Number one, what do you think you'd be doing? And number two, what, do you, what would you want to be doing? I've been asked this question a lot in the last 10 years and I don't really ever have an answer because I don't know. I never knew what I wanted to be and then I fell into this. So okay, right now you have to stop every, every strand of your income from different businesses that you do. You have to stop it today. Start fresh. With all the skill set, the knowledge you have, what do you do? Don't you can't know. start a website. You can't, like, do you know what I mean? You can't I be doing what I you're doing now. I honestly don't know. I've never had an answer for this question. I can tell you what I would want to be doing. What, what would that be? I would want to be in criminology. <laughs> I would want to be a detective. Or a, or a detective, um, like a DA. Or a DI. Or I whatever. think you could... I don't know whether you could still do that with being known publicly. No, this is if we if we weren't if I, if we went back to me as like a nineteen year old. Yeah. No, but I'm saying tomorrow. Yeah. Well, obviously, I don't job. have time to go to go into that now. No, but you could learn it. You could take seven years to learn it. True. True. It's never too late to just. But also, do the only reason new. I feel like I want to do it is as I watch so much crime and drama. But that is no reason to think I would be good at it. And then the pressure <laughs> it's just that I the think pressure, I would like, enjoy it. A mammoth court case is like on you and your evidence, and you're like, oh man, this is different to watching okay. the shows. I wouldn't want to be the main detective. You'd want to be inspector. like the assistant. I would want to be the one below them who like assist and help mm. and like goes, have you thought about this? Because this is a bit weird. And they go, you're right, and then they like tell the people. You basically want the glory, but no pressure. <laughs> yeah. That's what you want. What would I, I don't know. Realistically, what would I do? I think I'd want to help loads of small startups try and grow. Like but you small said you startup have the businesses. Skill set. No, I said if you I said... If I said if everything gets shut down today and I have to start something, I'd do something tomorrow. Yeah, but then you told me I couldn't work in like website stuff. So how is that allowed? Okay. Um, are we still living here? Are we still together? <laughs> I don't. Oh, but I don't think we need to look that far. I was going to say I question. might. I'd love to work just in like imagine working in like South Africa, helping like endangered animals in like a reserve. That's not what I thought you'd say. Just <laughs> helping like, like. I think I watched too much Tiger King, and I just want to go and I'll save tell you all what the animals. I would love. But we can't really do that where we live in Brighton. There's not like There's elephants no, that yeah. need help. Um, you know, like those. Although we do donate actually to uh, quite a lot of money. Zoe and I both donate to um, Raysteed, which is a local charity for animals. Yeah. We just bought. Can we tell them what we just bought? This yeah. is really off tangent. This is very, yeah. Zoe and I don't talk about publicly the charity work we do. We donate a lot of our income to charity every single month. Uh, but we don't talk about it because. People online seem to... But now you're talking about it. Seem to not like... Yeah, but this is so related and it's exciting. We bought recently a load... This is pretty niche. Of um, right. ropes for parrots that have arthritis and find it hard to grip onto the ropes. So we bought them all new ropes that they can grip better onto their ropes. That's just bloody... And that then, is so cute. And then they sent us pictures of the, yeah. on the ropes. And then we also bought weighing scales... For, for, new, for new puppies that are bought in because then they can weigh them to, to check them and make sure that they're putting on weight. And then we also just bought, this is the most recent thing we just bought for them. This is so niche. When there was loads of wind recently, the there was storms. like a big storm. The shelter that looks after the horse and the donkeys, the horses, horse, horses, horse? Horses. Or the horse, horses. <laughs> it, it got broken. It blew over and it broke. So we just spent a lot of money buying a new shelter to be built and this is literally money from anything that I do online so this is you guys as well and Zoe people that follow Zoe we just bought a new shelter for all the horse and donkeys horses and donkeys well I don't know if they've started building it yet but when they have we want to go and see yeah so cute so thank you for making stuff like this possible because that's literally you guys yeah um so, so maybe so I'd go, maybe I'd go. Animal rescue. I don't know. Can we go to the next question? I, I don't, just, this I is don't so think long I already. could because I would end up bringing back every single animal. Did someone ask? Are you snacking? Are you snacking? Are you snacking? How, How do, do I, I stop, stop snacking, snacking at, so home? Much at home? <laughs> I'm a snacker anyway, constant, twenty four seven. That's how I eat. Yeah. Little and often. 
Yeah, that's true. Yesterday, you we realised on FaceTime with Steve that because you eat such big meals at meal time, you after you're eating, after you've I eaten, get really you get really tired. So he's like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "Yes," because you're digesting. <laughs> I like, had such a big a dinner yesterday. Of pasta. Like so big, and I literally got three quarters through, and I was like, "Guys." I can't, I'm so tired. <laughs> All of my energy is getting put into digestion right now. I'm about to fall asleep at the table. Also, when I say guys, we weren't with them. We were on a video call with our friends. We were yeah. not with them. It's just kind of become normal now that we're like, when, yeah, when we were chatting with Steve, it's like, yeah. it's just always going to be on a phone or a laptop. Also, look how funny this looks. I have one knee out and one knee in. I have a hole in my jeans. I haven't got like one a egg. pair of jeans. That looks like, that's, someone, that's that looks like someone's someone. bald head. Yeah. Oh, this isn't a question, but somebody just said it and I thought it was cool. Somebody said, the book, The Chimp, the Chimp Paradox has really helped me through this time, so thank you so much. I it told is people, a good book, I told people it? to check out the book, so I'm glad that um, people have bought it and read it. The end, though. What do you think of the end? You haven't read it, so why are you what saying What did you that? think of the middle bit? <laughs> Guys, I haven't finished reading the book yet and Zoe's rinsing me. Because you talk about it all the time. Because I talk about it so much and I haven't it. finished it. Okay, this question has come up a lot and it's not to necessarily answer, but uh, I've had it a lot in the questions, so I thought I'd bring it up. Not to answer, so should we just not, should we just No, it's just for you, or oh, I feel, I feel like it's, it's more for you than it is for me. Okay. Can you show us more of the process of the house before you moved in? And then somebody else put, where do you get inspiration for the ways you decorated and renovated your house? And then somebody else put something else similar as well. I get asked about the house a lot. I'm thinking, I'm gonna say this and you're like, don't put that out into the world. I think you should do some videos on your channel showing the plans and all the designs and everything of the house. Okay, here's where this is. But I'm gonna say this, then so you're conflicted. gonna get people asking you that every day now, and then you're gonna be like, why did you say that? Now that's no, all no, people I've asking had, me. I've had people ask me that every day for because the last we, two years. But when we bought this house, it was literally like a shell. Like we knocked out all the walls or like a lot of the walls in the inside and we made it like it was completely still livable in by the way it wasn't yeah, like yeah, yeah. a shell as no in but compared like... to what it is now it was completely different inside we spent yeah. nearly two years renovating this place there was a lot so, more it's one of those things where you start taking something off and then you're like oh this isn't quite right behind here and then you're like oh we'll just put a new fireplace start in there oh the fireplace back. leaks gas into the bedroom <laughs> so we're gonna have to change this and it was if such a fun it, you know process, but at the time we decided we probably shouldn't film it because we thought it would look showy-offy and we didn't want people to, I don't know, we just didn't, we thought it, like people wouldn't enjoy that and would just think we were like showing we were making, off. This was so like we, probably four or five years ago, our content was a lot to. younger then, so we didn't really, our audience was younger, our content was younger. Whereas now... Oh, now I wish we had. I, in all honesty, I wish we had. Because actually it was the content I was watching. Mm. And I didn't think other people were like braggy or showy-offy. And I wish we had that to look back on. Yeah. Even for us, we didn't film anything. It's like, crazy, We've got it? snippets on phones. It's but... such a big moment in our lives that we... Well, I say moment, a two-year moment. That we didn't document. And I was daily vlogging at the time. And we didn't document it. But anything. that was an active decision we both made yeah. of like... We don't want anyone to know but that we've got we're going to be moving house. All the plans and all the designs and all the colour palettes and mood boards and everything. We have everything. Massive pieces of paper that we'd go through with the team that were working on the house like all the time. And Zoe literally picked all the furniture and Poppy and everything. I used to have everything. how many hours a week did I spend? I don't know how I did that. There was a period for like probably three months that Zoe came to this house when it was a building site. Every day. Every single day. But we didn't put it out online anywhere because we didn't want people to know we were moving. I do have some like pictures and some short videos on my phone and stuff. We've got a video of me standing literally here when there's like no conservatory. Do you remember? And you had to like yeah. climb over the hole over there and yeah. like walk along it this It was plank. really fun. And I think I'll for sure want to make content about like, you know, what we had done and what we chose to do and why we chose it and colours and things and inspiration. And There's been a lot of questions about it. Um, so I just thought I'd mention it because we've got all the plans and people are asking for it. Good to know, good to know. Uh, okay, let's do one more question because we're going to do some questions over on Zoe's video that she's uploading. Similar kind of time, around the same couple of days as this. So if it's already up, there'll be a little Q&A bit with some different questions over there. It's up yours, actually. It'll be up in a couple of days <laughs> if you want to go check it out. <laughs> It'll be up tomorrow. Do you watch any vloggers in your own time that you would recommend? Oh, this is a question for you. I, I think. love recommending people that watch my videos to go and watch other people's videos. I love just 
everyone finding out new people and watching new people. Uh, I love David and Ebony's vlogs. Mm-hmm, me too. They're so cozy and just so cute. cute. Such a lovely family. Again, I'm I've recommended lie, them before, but Gone with the Wind. Like Gone with the Wind? Gone with the Winds. Ah, oh, Winds. I've shown you their, their channel. The with couple the that lived on the boat. Yeah. They don't yeah. live on the boat anymore. I feel like they live in an RV at the moment with his mum currently mm. but yeah gone with the winds as well is really cool like travel couple with their cats and they're just like the loveliest couple i think louis cole knows them i don't i again i've never spoken to them I'm i definitely big fan of their videos. way less youtube now there's no one now it's so hard like <laughs> if i got asked this question ever I, I i don't i just don't know who to say there's not really one person i constantly watch i know who you watch come on now who? An Animal Crossing channel. Well, yeah, but it's all... It's, it's like, <laughs> Harry watches an Animal Crossing channel on how to make your island a five-star island. But that's island. not one channel. It's like, I just search for something and, and yeah. then I'll watch it. Like, it's not like there's one... Is there not any Animal Crossing person that's particularly good? I'm really enjoying Arden's um, oh, yeah, okay, Animal there Crossing we go. stream. But it's on uh, that's, that's, that's on a stream. Twitch. That's, that's, that's on, a stream yeah. on Twitch, Arden's. Um, but religiously watching a channel I don't do anymore. I'm much more into being on Instagram and catching up with people and what they're up to there and like little mm. IGT, IGTVs that are much kind of quicker to consume. But mm. if I'm on my laptop now for something more long form, I'll be on like Netflix or something mm. as opposed to Blogs. YouTube. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the little Q&A. I'd love to know who you guys like watching though. Yeah, comment down below your favourite person or favourite people to watch at the moment on YouTube and then everyone else can check them all out and stuff like that and we can have a little share down below. Um, if you haven't already, go download Lark. Link is in the description. What did you say? If you haven't already, go download Lark. Oh god, that all went into like one word, download Lark. If you have not already, <laughs> a link is down below to download Lark and appreciate you watching. See you soon. Bye! Look at me, I look like a brunette.